Okay, coming back to the subject where you are a seller of a property and you have mortgage against your property and considering the fact that you don't have money to pay off your mortgage. So this is scenario B, let's go. So and so, so in this scenario B, the, the buyer can pay on your behalf. So step number one will be you go to your developer and you get your NOC for a resale. Step number two, you go to bank and you get a two liability letters. Step number three, buyer and seller will visit registration trustee and will block the property. Kind of pre-registered, so the property will be kind of pre-registered under the buyer's name. So after this blocking, buyer can confidently go clear the outstanding mortgage amount where he will get a clearance certificate. So this will be the next step. So buyer will go pay off the mortgage of a seller, let's say in form of manager check issued against the bank of a seller. And then the bank of a seller within several working days will issue a clearance certificate. Now, the buyer with this clearance certificate will come back to registration trusted. This will be the next step and will complete the registration. So here is interesting scenario. So buyer got pre-registered as a new owner before he paid a mortgage to a bank. And as soon as he got a proof that he paid a mortgage on behalf of a seller, the proof in this case will be a clearance certificate. So he goes back to registration trustee and registration trustee will make him finally a an owner and will complete the registration, right? So that's why it's pretty secure. Now, before we end this video, I'd like to clear when you go to, re to, to block the property, uh, what, do what documents require. So first of all, the seller will bring from his site passport, Emirates ID and visa if he's a resident. Secondly, he will bring a title deed. Third, he will bring the NOC for resale that he got from a developer. Fourth, he will bring a liability letter addressed to the violent department. Now, agent in this case will have to bring a contract F or MIO. Where the buyer in this case, right, the buyer will bring his passport if he's a resident, his Emirates ID visa. Plus, he will bring all the payments. So in this case, the payments uh, will, will, will include the purchasing price, the balance. I mean, let's say the property, the property is sold for 2 million, 1 million is to be paid to a bank. So, so he will bring one manager check of 1 million addressed to a seller, I mean, under the name of a seller. Then he will bring 4% Dubai Land Department fee. Then he will bring uh, 580 dirhams if there is a title deed on a selling property, which is a title deed fee. Then he will bring agency fee, which is a 2% plus VAT, right? And then the next payment, which is the fifth one, will be a registration trustee fee, 4,200, right? So these payments that the buyer will have to bring. However, there are additional two more payments. So payment number one, which is additional, will be a property blocking fee, which is 1575. And then there will be mortgage release fee along with the admin fee, 1605, right? So these, the last two fees, they can be paid based on a mutual agreement of both parties. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Thumbs up, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye-bye.